kids. Uh, I'm Perry Lyons. Welcome to New York City Celebrity Psychic. That would be me, Perry Lyons. And um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes life throws a curveball at us. And um, so I was dealing with a bit of a family emergency today, which thank goodness seems like it's going okay. But you guys are going to get a makeup uh, tutorial or just I'm going to put my makeup on while we're doing this. Um, because right now, uh, my face is naked as the day it was born. Anyway, it's good to see you. And, um, Mercury, which was in retrograde until yesterday, I guess, uh, went direct today and things should be loosening up and going forward, but you're going to see a bit of, well, what you're seeing right now, when Mercury is retrograde, anything to do with things that Mercury uh, governs, ready? God, makeup is great. Um, Mercury is the planet. Mercury was the messenger of the gods. So it's the planet that has to do with messages, communication, um, travel, um, things going across the air, so to speak. I know that computers don't actually go across the air, but let's just, just humor me. So um, when Mercury, the planet, is retrograde, Anything to do with communications, with travel, goes like whoom, uh, backwards or stops or screws up. So luckily that isn't happening. But as it's going direct, it's like sort of stretching and, and just knocking things over. It's like waking up from its nap. And tomorrow things will be smoother. But today, if you wound up getting stuck in a three-hour traffic jam and you live in Des Moines, um, that would be why. So anyway, um, so today I was thinking about why people go to psychics. Um, and it's because we're going through a moment when we feel, well, we want to know what the hell is going to happen, basically. But we feel like... We need somebody to give us that reassurance that we're seen. And as somebody who's been doing this so long that I essentially used to ride in my office in a dinosaur, um, over the years, I've learned that, you know, it's good to be an accurate psychic, which, you know, for whatever reason I am. Um, and it's good to be able to predict the future. But the really interesting part of this is what do you use that knowledge for? Are you the mindless pawn of, um, I guess pawns are by definition mindless, they're chess pieces. Um, but are you the mindless pawn of universal forces? Well, kind of, but gravity, things like that. But we also have control over our lives a little more than we think. And part of that control and part of the nice thing about working with somebody like me, um, <laughs> the good news is, or I mean, people like me, um, is that we can give you sort of a map of the terrain coming up, right? But then you can take back your power. You can figure out what to do with that. So if, for instance, I'm a clairsentient. Clair means vision. Sentient means feeling. Uh, I'm also clairvoyant. Um, clair, again, means vision. Voyant means extra vision. So it's like vision about vision. Um, uh, sadly, I'm not Claire Danes. Um, but um, so what I'll do is that if I'm, when I'm reading for you, as I will be, um, what I'm doing is, how can I put this? <clears throat> Where the sentient part, my feeling space, is leaning in to your future, right? So I can kind of feel like, where's the turn on this, uh, on this sick, great adventure, sick flags roller coaster? By the way, this is the international signal for a roller coaster, just in case you've ever wondered. And so I can say, hey, you know what? The roller coaster is going to like go under a tunnel. You might want to draw your head in. And so the roller coaster is going to do what it's going to do, but now you have a little help in dealing with it. And so what I'd like you to know is that the more we remember that, for instance, 
we can, when we get a little down or we get self-critical, those voices inside our head, guess whose head they're inside? They're like, not that I actually hear voices, but you know how sometimes you get this voice saying like, why aren't you 24 anymore? Unless you're 24, which you probably don't hear that. Um, I was 24, but it turned out to be a phase. Um, so you get that little like self-critical voice. But the thing is, flattery position. <sighs> That's a terrible look. Can we fix that, Dave? <laughs> I'm scared. Dave, make me come back. Well, I'm just going to put on more makeup until my producer. Hi. How are we doing? All good. Thank you, Dave. I love you, man. So, oh, what was I nattering on about? Um, oh, so the important thing to remember is, I mean, somebody else can be mean to you. Somebody can be kind to you. But you're always you. I know it seems obvious, but occasionally bears repeating. Um, so, um, but here's the thing. The only person at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, or 2 p.m., who has full control over how you feel, how you react, um, is you. And the little voices in your head that are making you unhappy, they're you. You can tell them to sod off. <laughs> like, go away, voices. Or you can teach them to say something nice. You can teach them to say, oh, your imperial highness, your rules will be here in a moment. Don't you look fabulous? Um, you really can teach your voices to say that, sometimes in different accents. Anyway, so um, one last thing. So where we take Jennifer in Illinois, which I love Illinois, um, I'm just going to say that my whole life started to change about 15 years ago. When I decided, rather than be like, oh, I'm depressed, I'm a sad, tragic poet, um, instead, I decided to ask myself a question. In the moment, I was sad, I was blue, I was tragic, I was a poet. Um, instead, what I did was I asked myself this question. Okay, at this moment, what would the happiest woman in the world do? And it just kind of broke the bonds, and I'm going to, unless you're men, in which case, of course, ask yourself what the hap well, ask yourself whatever you want. What would the happiest duck in the world do? But um, it really helps. And if you think like, okay, what can I do in this moment that's just going to make me a little happier? What's going to raise my frequency? What's going to make me a, like a dance radio station rather than like, oh, news, sadness. So you are your own radio station. You can turn up your frequency. and. Sometimes just asking yourself a silly question like, what would the happiest woman in the world do is great. I uh, tried another question first, but that question was, what was the square root of 5,612? And that wasn't a very empowering question, so I moved on. Uh, anyway, hi, Jennifer. How are you? Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Do you mind if I uh, put on a little makeup so I look better while we're while I'm helping you? Sure. So how can I help you today, love? Um, can you connect to a, a spirit for me? <sighs> yeah, I, mediumship work, it's pretty heavy, but since, um, since you asked so nicely, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to ask uh, Archangel Michael Energy to be with both of us. Archangel Michael's very powerful, and... Um, you know, just one has to train for a long time so nobody else, like, sneaks in the door with the person we're, that we're talking to. So uh, just ask for me and you to be protected by light. Okay. Okay. Thank you, love. If you could just tell me your birthday before we move on, you don't have to tell me the date. <laughs> I won't ask you. So you won't ask mine. You want, so, you, want, um, you want me to tell you my birth date? Your birthday? My birthday? I'm sorry, I'm your birthday. Yeah, just, it helps me focus in on you. Um, July, July 30th of 1974. Oh, Leo Tiger. Look at you. <laughs> sorry, we're a little frozen here. Seems to be a problem with the connection today. Um, I anyway. know. Do, do you want me to change phone? No, fine. Hang out. 
Oh, okay. You know what? Let's fix it. I can actually do this. Cool. Okay. Well, apparently, there. There we go. So, um, wow. Um, how recent was this passing? Um, December 22nd. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, you know, it's funny. I don't think they've quite figured it, this out yet. Was it, forgive me asking, but was it kind of sudden? Yeah. Yeah. They're not quite, because I'm like, first they said, I said I'm, a, I'm a woman. And they're like, I don't know, maybe I'm a guy. Um, they're a little confused. They're going to be okay. Um, and I can help you contact, I can teach you something to help contact them after we're not talking. But um, can you tell me the first name? It's Rick. Um, he was funny. Was what? he? Did he have? Was he? Was he funny? Like a funny? Oh yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, really funny. Um, I don't want to say biker, but he's got that kind of like slightly pirate thing going on. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> does that make sense? I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm gonna put on makeup. I'm going to put on makeup for Rick because Rick liked the ladies. Um, yeah, he did. Okay, he's, yes, he did. So, Rick, this <laughs> is for you, honey. Um, uh, did he call you something? Did he? Was he kind of a sweet talker? Like, would he say something like, hello, sugar? God. Um, yeah, the he, had a nickname for, he had a nickname for uh -oh. me. Um. Well, you can't ask me to guess a nickname and be the, okay, okay. You know what? I guess you can. Hold on, wait a minute. Something was not unlike sugar, but it was like not sweet cheeks. You're gonna have to tell me. I can talk to the dead, or I can guess the nickname. Both is a little tough. So, right? You're saying what was what was his nickname for you? Was it something like? Um, it was yeah. Good. Oh, okay. I don't think I would have gotten that. <laughs> um, boy, is he happy? He is happy to see you. Um, I'm not Where sure if he's he hanging at? out with us. Uh, he hasn't. He, well, he he's. It gets a little complicated on the other side because God, you know, who doesn't work part time, um, <laughs> lets us come to him in our own time. God's a gentleman. Um, but sometimes when we die suddenly, um, we're sort of like, do I go towards that light? Do I stay here and have a beer? What the hell? Where am I? Um, uh -huh. And so he's kind of, and also he's kind of a strong-willed guy. He, yeah. he was very laid back. It's kind of a funny combination. Um, I can't believe I'm going to read <laughs> Channel a Dead Person and do my eyebrows. But that's going to happen because, Rick, this is for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> it actually does. Oh, he's, he's totally, he's so much more present now that I'm making an effort to kind of, it's not me. It's just he likes the ladies. Um, you right. guys were really funny together. Were you like childhood friends or did you date at one point? And then, because there's a really sweet energy there. He adores you. Oh, by the way, he's really happy to see you. And he wants to know, he gave you like a red shirt. He gave you, um, hold on, he gave you, oh, God. Uh, this was this Christmas before last. He might have given you a really stupid sweater. Oh, I have one eyebrow. How charming. Um, <laughs> all right. So he wants to know, he gave you something and he's teasing you about it. Do you lose stuff? Are you a little absent minded? Not too often. Yeah, no, Leo, Leo Tiger wouldn't be. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm totally blocking it. Look, makes such a difference. Hi, Rick. Um, okay, well, that's going to come back to you after we speak. Hold on a second. Um, it feels like his mom is there. There's a there's like a plump, com comfortable energy. Boy, I'm really glad you did this. Thank you for calling in because he was <laughs> he was wandering around. Because frankly, he was looking for the bar. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I really like him. <sighs> um, so it, it was poopy, not poopsy, right? Right. You let him get, <laughs> you let him get away with that? I would have clocked him. Um, no, it's very <laughs> cute. Um, 
you guys have such a playful energy. Um, all right. So, well, he's with some very loving, it feels like somebody, if it's not his mom, it's somebody on his mom's side. Cause, and he's able to see some people now, which he couldn't before you kind of went, Hey, can we talk to my friend? So you really did him a favor. Um, now, did he have a biker truck that he really liked? I'm going to put on some more makeup. No. No? no. Really? No. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm tough to surprise. Okay, let me see what I'm getting here. I'm also getting you guys at... I don't know if there's a place in your town where you would go. He's... I don't know why he keeps appearing. You know what? I think I know, actually. Hello. Um, sometimes before the first year or so, before people sort of settle in, Rick, Rick is like, will you finish your makeup? Sorry. Um, he's like, you're just getting cute. Um, <laughs> can I date somebody who's not actually in in? Inform? It's kind of a strange question. Um, so sometimes when people are like figuring out where they are, they will try on like things that they wanted to do when they were on the earth plane, but they kind of didn't get a chance to. So he's presenting me. He's like leaning back against the bar. He kind of, and his energy is not like biker energy, but it's better. like he's. Huh? What? I don't even hear her. What? What? Can you hear me? Darling, come back. Right here. Um, maybe it's your phone. Anyway, if you can still see me, I will just keep talking, because that's what I do. Um, so Rick is trying on some personas. Um, he's actually going to start seriously heading to where he's going next. Um, he will, if he comes to you in a dream just so you know that's that ain't a dream that's a, that's a visit hi rick i'm still working on it um that is a visit when somebody shows up when you're asleep if especially if they passed recently they that's them it's not you thinking about them uh just so you know as well um if you see some stuff you might not see it, but um, I'm thinking that coins, like pennies, uh, are going to start appearing, like, out of nowhere. Um, he really wants to make contact. Um, it's just he got so excited before that he kind of blew the circuit. That's happened the last two times we've done mediumship in this show, so sorry. Uh, Apple has to, like, do a special medium iPad. Anyway, thanks for calling. Contact me if um, I'm happy to do a reading for you. Be happy to give you a discount um, because this is a tough time for you. Um, I'm, that's my website right there on the bottom of the screen. And now we have Dina, right? Hi. Dina. Hi. Hi. No, how Dina, are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Which? I'm good. Dina or Dina? Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Which one? Okay. It's, it's oh, that's pretty. That's Thank nice. Um, I'm still putting on makeup for a ghost, so let me just finish this. Hold on. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this didn't happen when I was a publishing executive or a model, so uh, <laughs> very I'm seldom would my, my staff hey, walk in. What are you doing? Whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. You have lovely energy. When is your birthday, my love? Thank you. I am December 5th. I thought so. It's very fire energy today, you little Sagittarius, you. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very fiery today. Mm -hmm. That's good. There's a lot of Mars energy. Mars is very active today, so um, instead of having aggressive energy, I'm having like very bubbly energy with you. Awesome. So how can I help, Yay. sweetie? Okay, yeah. so um, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a reading, so whatever. Okay. Did I ask a question, or um, right? ask if somebody wants to come in or what, what's my part what do i do um you send me all of your jewelry no sorry um you just do you and okay yeah because your life is your life is good i mean you you've got your you've got your stuff together so let me see yeah. 
what the cards but yeah you're really together it's nice like you're doing something you like feels like you're a nice partnership a romantic partnership with somebody who respects you and treats you well it's kind of a first for the show um <laughs> sorry I, should have said that. I didn't i didn't actually mean that um or me five years ago um yeah you're good um can i ask do you have kids because you have a very a lot of love around you um, I do I not have ask. any children. Okay. Um, if that's something you want, I'm seeing that uh, around you in the future. I'm not sure if they're um, yours or somebody. Maybe they're rentals. I don't know. But uh, um, either that or... No, I might, I might end up working with kids. Who knows? Okay. That would be it. Okay. Sorry. That's why I couldn't... I wasn't like, you have children, which is what I usually do. Uh, so yeah. thank you for being so... Yeah. Um, okay. You are going to work with kids. Thank you. You're perfect. Can you call in every week? I love you. Yeah. Um, also, you had a nice family. They had a bumpy yeah. road when your siblings went through some crap. What? Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of shit. Can I say that? I'll say. <laughs> you know you can. <laughs> um, uh. <laughs> good, I can too. Yeah, you went through a lot of shit, Tuts. Um, whoa. Um, you have two. I'm sorry. I'm a little. Two siblings? No. I'm not usually a guesser, um, but um, I have one, one sibling, but I was also adopted. So, oh, oh, that's thank you. That's why I was going in and out of focus. <sighs> um, okay, well, if you, I um, I have a thing with an adoption. My sister found me, and she found out that she also has three brothers. So, and she was an wow. only child. Uh, you have um, okay, that's why that was doing that. You have a couple of brothers. Um, okay. Just so you know, um, that might come up in the next couple of years. If you don't want it to, it won't, because you're okay. very, boy, you are one strong willed baby. That's what you are. <laughs> um, you're, you're very good at, I don't want to use the word manifesting, but I'm going to, you're very good at manifesting. Um, thank you. And you don't even, yeah, you don't even do it consciously. You just sort of kind of go to the place where the thing or the job or the person you want kind of is cosmically. And then like they're ringing your doorbell three hours later. So really nice. You've got a real talent for that. Yeah, you do. You know, I'm right. Right. Can you get me a Mustang? Yeah. I'd like a like convertible yeah, I'm Mustang. I'm working please. on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Thanks. I don't drive, but, um, uh, wow. You've got a lot of change coming up. Funny. Um, what's interesting about you is, it's a great Rudyard Kipling poem called If, and it starts, If you can keep your head when all around you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, that's yeah. like, oh, that would be Dina's life story. You are yeah. the swan that glides in the lake. People don't see the little legs going bah, 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 underneath. But uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. And people just lose lose their shit around you. Not because of you. You're great. But um but it's funny, drama goes on around you. You're not dramatic. You're adorable, right. but you're not dramatic. Um, although you're a lot of fun. Uh, there's an institution. Uh, this is often a school. It can be um, college school. It can be, what other institutions? Probably not jail, not seeing jail. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it hasn't, you're, you're switching positions. And I'm not saying this because okay. you said kids. This is kind of the school card. Um, it's the institutions that are part of the fabric of our society. Um, so you're heading in that direction, hasn't shown up yet. When something's upside down, the way I, I'm reading today, um, the energy is on its way and it's something you're working on and interested in, but um, hasn't shown up yet. Page of Cups, uh, are you teaching art to kids? Is that something you would do? Ooh, that sounds amazing. I'm an artist, so yeah, that, that would be, yeah. that would be super fun. You are an artist. You're a real artist. Oh, darn it. Um, we've got about 90 seconds. Okay. Um, stay, if you're in a relationship and you're worried about it, stay in it. Give it a chance. Uh, you can be a little bit of perfectionist. Um, and there's a trip coming up for you. I sound like a gypsy. I see a man. Told yes. Bart Kensum, you take trip over water, but uh, you're a nice guy there. So you are going through a bit of a rocky time. Just stay with him or her, whatever. 
or a llama, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're the peacemaker in your family. You are probably also going to reconnect with your family. We're doing this year. I'm going to talk really fast. Um, you're taking some time kind of a way to think about stuff. You've got some decisions to make. If you contact me on Facebook or on my website, I'll give you some recommendations for books or meditations that will help. Uh, you're going to be just fine, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Triumph, that's a really good card. That's a healing triumph, so you're going to wind up taking a step up in your career, and you're going to be doing yeah. something that's going to be healing to others and something you love. You're a natural teacher and a healer. Most of all, girl, you're an artist. And I was... Um, I'm, I'm so <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, and you're talking, <laughs> there's a nude of me in the, in the Liverpool Tate Museum. I know from artists, baby. Um, little anxiety coming up. Don't worry about it. That card just came up to say, don't worry about it. Um, and then suddenly you're going to get scouted for like two different jobs. I would also look around your town, see if you can find a local gallery. You need to show. You're too good not to be okay. showing. Yeah, really okay. good composition, really good color. And you use an unusual medium. You use acrylic or watercolor. Yeah. 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 Damn, I'm good. Yep. Yes, I'm so good. Sorry. Um, not self-congratulatory at all. Okay, you're going to be uh, caught at a crossroads. Um, it doesn't matter. Either decision is fine. Go with the one that makes you feel good. 